talk talk us through what uh, what this device uh, looks like. How does this work? Um, what are we talking about? So this this is essentially a, a device that enables you to provide respiratory support to um, patients who have respiratory failure. So, so for COVID patients who need critical care in hospitals, the most common reason for that is because of respiratory failure, and they need more oxygen than you can deliver purely through a face mask. Now, there's a couple of ways that you can do that, but essentially what you need to do is provide a pressure which um, essentially opens up and splints open the lungs, enables you to deliver more oxygen to, to the bloodstream of the patient. Now, So these are not the type of... Sorry, just, Sorry. To, just, to, just to jump in, Rebecca, these are not the type of ventilators that maybe you use in intensive care, but they can take the pressure off those ventilators. So where does this leave the UK government, do you think, in its mission to get enough ventilators suitable for in intensive care? Well, so these devices basically have been used quite extensively, for example, in Italy and China to, in their COVID response. And in Italy, they have prevented around 50 to 60 percent of patients from progressing to mechanical ventilation. So what we're hoping is that it, it meets a different part of the care pathway but alleviates the burden on mechanical ventilation so that can be prioritised for the absolute sickest patients who need it the most. So a lot of talk has been um, uh, of late around the possibility of car makers like General Motors or Tesla producing ventilators. I've spent some time in, you know, typical factories and I can't understand how it would work. Does Woking prevent, uh, present an advantage here because of, you know, the specialization possibilities of McLaren? Absolutely. So, so we have a long partnership through University College London with Mercedes, um, Formula One, and specifically Mercedes HPP. Essentially, they're, they're perfect for the role of manufacturing at scale because of their prototyping and engineering expertise, but also because of the capacity that they have to do things in volume. So where, so where will these be made then at, at, at such volume? So, the, so the, the, the core devices are being produced at scale by Mercedes APP in the UK. Um, and also we are developing and working with a company called Oxford Optronics, which are making the oxygen sensing kits, and they're also best based in the UK in Oxfordshire in that instance. How soon, Professor, will these devices be out to patients? How quickly will you be able to, to save lives with these things? So, uh, as you mentioned in the intro, we, we already have regulator approval for their use in the NHS in the health system in the UK. We're currently doing patient trials of them um, in the London network hospitals. And if those go well, they, they'll be completed in the next few days and these devices will be ready for use in the NHS by the beginning of next week.